to unclog your Keurig if it's clogged up. That's assuming your Keurig is still working, so the motor still runs, and still going to suck up water. Um, so the solution is very simple. Uh, we use a 60cc syringe. Um, you might not have one of these around, maybe have a, a different syringe, or it's nice to have a big one though. You might use like a, a turkey injector or some whatever you might have at your house. But um, basically, I'll show you what we did, and I have my assistant help me. But um, over here, there's the, where it sucks in the water at the bottom. Um, we first took it and we um, pushed it in, so we're just going to show you how we did that. And there we go. She's pulling up the water with the syringe. What's nice about this large syringe is that you don't have to reach down in there. It reaches. So we just forced it in there. And then after a couple times, one time, whatever, we turned it on. So you can turn it on. Assistant. Just turning it on. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> okay. There we go. So, now the Keurig is on, and it's trying to pull up the water. And, of course, we already fixed it earlier, so, you know, we know it works now. Okay, so after we cleaned it with the syringe, we ran some apple cider vinegar through it. We just put some in the tank. Uh, you could probably use any vinegar. Uh, so, just ready. Come on. Run it through. So, run it through a few times so it really can clean out the insides. Um, so, that's it. That's my tip for the day. I hope you guys found it useful. Thanks.